Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 2014 movies ranked. Uh, yes, I finally have came to doing this video. I know it's been a little bit since I've finished. I mean, no, it's not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to be doing the 24, all 2014 movies I saw ranked. It's just too much effort and too much editing. I know I'm lazy. Uh, I do apologise, but yeah. Uh, anyway, we're just going to get into the honorable, honorable mentions. So, we have Nightcrawler, a great movie, really enjoyed it. Uh, and then we have How to Train Your Dragon 2, a great animation movie, and yeah, I love the animation in this film. And then we have Fury, I think Brad Pitt did absolutely outstanding in this movie, and yet really enjoyable. A movie I'm really am sad that it missed out is Chef. I would have loved Chef to be in my top 10, but it missed out, unfortunately. But I love Chef. It's a great movie. And then oh, the Lego movie is my last honorable mention, which I think is a great animated movie and a great voice cast to it as well. Number 10 for me is Gone Girl. I think Gone Girl was probably one of the best Mr. Oh, sorry, Mr. Murder Mystery movies in a while. Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike, Neil Patrick Harris, Tyler Perry, Carrie Coon, Kim Deacons, and directed by David Fincher. You cannot get any, any worse than this. And David Fincher is, he has directed films such as Fight Club, The Social Network, Seven, Zodiac, The Curse of the Benjamin Button, uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Game, Mank, Panic Room, and Alien 3. And I know everyone's love for Alien 3, am I right? <laughs> anyway, um, I loved Gone Girl. It's a great, it's an awesome film that I love so much. And I'm really looking forward to checking it out again, definitely. Uh, then we have at number 9, we have Neighbours. I really enjoyed Neighbours. Uh, I think this is probably a great, sorry, an awesome comedy that I've seen in a while. It has a great cast to it, really. From Seth Rogen to Z uh, Rose Byrne to Zac Efron to Dave Franco to Christopher Mintz Plaza to Jared Car uh, Carmichael to Ike Barinholtz, and directed by Nicholas Stoller, who directed Neighbours, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Bros, Neighbours 2, Get Him to, Get Him to the Greek, Stalks and the Five Year Engagement. Neighbours is a great comedy movie. I do recommend you check this movie out whenever you can. It is a blast, and I just loved watching this movie. Yeah, that's it. Uh, then we have at number eight, we have Edge of Tomorrow. I loved Edge of Tomorrow. Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, Bill Paxton, Brendan Gleeson, Noah Taylor, uh, Kick Gurry, Dragmore Morisk, Charlotte Riley, and directed by Doug Lyman, who directed... Well, Edge of Tomorrow, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, The Born Identity, American Made, Jumper, Chaos Walking, Swingers, Go, Lockdown, The Wall Fear Game, and yeah, this movie I had so much fun with. And is also going to be directing a movie called Roadhouse. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I... I had so much fun with this movie. Like, I'm being genuinely honest with you guys. I, I had so much fun watching this movie. And, yeah. It was just a fun time. It was Edge of Tomorrow, which is a fun little sci-fi action film with Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. And I think it worked extremely well. Seven is, of course, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. I have so much fun with Captain America. Captain America is probably one of my favorite superheroes. But I think Spider-Man's number one, just because of nostalgic reasons. Uh, yeah, great cast to this, from Chris Evans to Scarlett Johansson, to Sebastian Stan, to Anthony Mackie, to Kobe Schmulders, to Frank G uh, Grillo, and directed by the Russos, who have directed films such as Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, Captain America Civil War, Captain America the Winter Soldier, The Grey Man, Cherry, Yumi and Dupree, and Collingwood. Welcome to Collingwood. Uh, yeah. I had so much fun with Captain America the Winter Soldier. I think it definitely deserves, deserves to be in, like, the top 10 or top 15 MCU movies and TV for me personally. I just had so much fun with this movie. 
At number six for me is John Wick. Uh, yeah, John Wick. <laughs> I love John Wick. Uh, it has a great cast. Keanu Reeves, Michael Nevskik, uh, Ian McShane, John Ligamozo, Willem Dafoe, and it was Chad Stilitsky, who directed John Wick, John Wick 2, John Wick 4, John Wick 3. So he's basically directed all the John Wick movies. And if you love if you love some good action and thriller, it's definitely for you. Uh, it's, what do you call it, a gung-fu, gun-fu movie. Yeah. Uh, I had so much fun with John Wick, and I definitely recommend you check this movie out any time, whenever you can, because it is a blast, and Keanu Reeves absolutely knocks it out of the park with his performance, and probably one of the best performances of the year, of 2014 for me personally, and yeah, we're just going to get into my number five, which is Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one of course. And I think this movie is awesome. It has a great cast. Bradley Cooper, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper, and directed by James Gunn, Gunn, who directed Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, The Suicide Squad, The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, Slither, Super, and, unfortunately, Movie 43. Guardians of the Galaxy was one of the most surprising films I've seen because... No one knew how this film was going to go. Because you have a... What do you have? You have a talking tree and a talking raccoon set in space. How can that go? Who knows? But this movie worked so well. And I had so much fun with this movie. And I absolutely cannot wait to check this movie out again. I definitely recommend you do. Because it is a blast and a movie I do recommend. Number four... A uh, masterpiece for me is Interstellar. Interstellar, oh my god. The cast of this movie, oh my god. From Matthew McConaughey to Anne Hathaway to Jessica Chastain. And directed by one of my, uh, probably actually, no, he is my favourite director of all time. Christopher Nolan, who has directed films such as Interstellar, Inception, The Dark Knight, Dunkirk, Tenant, Memento, The Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins, The Prestige, Insomnia, and Oppenheimer, which is the new one coming out, which I cannot wait to see. Yeah, Interstellar was a masterpiece. I had so much fun with this movie. The score in this movie is outstanding. This movie is a movie you need to check out, like, right now. It's that great. Even though it's, like, nearly three hours long, it is a blast. Definitely a trippy... A trappy movie, you don't know where, what's going on, but it's a movie I definitely recommend you check out. Number three for me is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Absolutely outstanding film. Has Andy Serkis, Jason Clark, Gary Oldman, Kerry Russell, Toby Cabell, Cody Smith Fee, and Red of course, Matt Reeves, who has directed The Batman, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, War of the Planet of the Apes, and Cloverfield. Uh, yes. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a movie I 100% recommend if you like drama, action, science fiction, and thriller. It's basically like, uh, like yeah, it's, it's much like monkeys and stuff, or like apes, sorry, apes. And, yeah, Andy Serkis is, Andy Serkis is amazing as Caesar for me personally. He was so good. Anyway. Number two for me, we have 22 Jump Street. I love 22 Jump Street. It's one of my favourite movies of all time. It's a great cast from Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum, uh, Wyatt Russell, Amber Stevens, West, uh, Julian Bell, Ice Cube, Three Wave, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, who have directed the Lego movie. 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, and Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples, and have written films such as Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, The Lego Movie, uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples 2, The Lego Movie 2, Cloudy, uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples, the first one, uh, yeah, absolutely outstanding these two, uh, and yeah, I just had so much fun with this movie. And I'm really looking forward to checking it out again, whenever that will be. And Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum's chemistry, 
You can never beat it. It's that good. And number one for me is, of course, Whiplash. I absolutely love Whiplash. It's one of my favourite movies of all time. Probably in, like, the top ten for sure. It's a great cast, from Miles Teller to J.K. Simmons, to Paul Reiser to Melissa Benoist, to Austin Stilwell, to Chris McCulley, interviewed by Jamie and Giselle, who has directed films such as Whiplash, La La Land, Babylon, and First Man. I think Damien Chazelle is a fantastic director and deserving uh, for more projects down the line for sure. I absolutely loved my time with Whiplash. I definitely recommend you check it out. And it's not even that long. Uh, And yeah, it's just a fun time. Really enjoyed it. And I would recommend you check it out whenever you can. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed me ranking my top 10 2014 Top 10 good 2014 movies ranked. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Peace.